We're back to the gray and kind of rainy pattern. We almost had June weather stick around for a little longer than three days, but I, I guess we'll take three days of dry weather in a row. You can see that low hanging cloud over Milwaukee right now. Yeah, a little bit of patchy fog across the area. 66 was our high today. That's as warm as we got. We're supposed to be in the low 70s. Yeah, it's just not quite there with the cloud cover down to 61 degrees at the moment. You can see a little bit warmer off to the west. 72 Waukesha, 75 in Whitewater as well as in Burlington and Lake Geneva. 57 though in Port Washington. Part of this is because yes, we still have that northeasterly wind keeping things cooler by the lake, but also that's bringing some of that lake cloud activity on shore. Aren't you glad this isn't too windy today? Tomorrow, though, different story. Pirate Festival going or Pirate Fest going on in Port Washington right now. It is a cool one out there. A vast me hearties. Yeah, yeah, and hold on to your hats as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you do have a trash can day, if it's your pick pickup day, uh, it's going to be a bit on the blustery side. So your trash can may be rolling down the street. If you've got a cylindrical trash can, just watch out for that. Winds expected to pick up behind this cold front that is bisecting the middle section of the country at the moment. So the winds are going to come on in and so is that slightly cooler air. The good news is though we have a bit of sunshine behind this as well. Right now though the cold front sweeping across the state bringing again a tornado warning into portions of Iowa that is going to move down to our south and to our west. This line of showers though may be an isolated thunderstorm is on its way to our area but I do expect us to have a good about two hours until we see some of those showers maybe isolated thunderstorm roll on through could still see some a few showers or an isolated thunderstorm on the back side of the cold front. And then as we go into your Monday morning, a few spotty showers possible early by the middle of the day, though, even by about noon, I expect to see the sunshine return. Here's that northwesterly wind, though. That's going to be howling at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Could see some wind gusts topping 30 miles an hour throughout your Monday. Getting into Tuesday, then we'll start off with sunshine. We'll see a few more clouds as the day progresses. But again, we will see some sunshine by the end of the day on Monday and into your Tuesday. We'll scrub out these gray clouds especially overnight tonight. Overnight tonight, though, again, if you're looking for as far much how much additional rain we're talking about, not a whole lot. A couple hundredths of an inch up to a tenth of an inch, unless you get underneath one of those isolated thunderstorms, could be a little bit more than that. 56 degrees, your overnight low for tonight. Patchy fog early, I do expect as the winds start to kick up, that patchy fog will not be a problem tomorrow morning. 68 degrees for your high tomorrow in Milwaukee, so not a whole lot cooler, but I do expect inland places to be cooler than uh, what they're at today with those 70s. Everybody back in the 70s, though, with sunshine for your Tuesday, down into the 60s, Wednesday and beyond which Jeez. is the unfortunate the part. Normal? You probably said this and I was thinking 73. Yeah, see, yeah. I feel like I knew we were below that. Yep, and it looks like the six to 10 day outlook is going to be cooler than average too. We can't wow. Maybe we'll keep this summer cool into pattern. October. Yeah. Mm -hmm.